Good morning, all of you. So today's class will continue with our uh, the Angular Impulse applications. That one. So it's a the, the same previous class what we did. The same similar approach is what we are going to develop here. Different set of numericals will come. And what is everything the uh, what is the methodology here like? Uh, is there any force acting? That force is it setting up any torque? And that torque for what duration of time it will act? That will become Angular Impulse or any torque is acting and the torque is it acting for any duration of time that is the thing or any linear impulse is acting that linear impulse into distance will there be any angular impulse i think this is what we have to search here so what is the primary important aspect in all these problems where is the axis of rotation and about that axis is there any torque or is there any linear impulse will set up angular impulse is what we have to search here. If net angular impulse zero, angular momentum is conserved. Or net torque is zero. If net torque is non-zero, angular momentum is not conserved. Then we have to proceed for other alternatives. Or angular impulse <coughs> momentum equation, angular momentum equation. So I think the everything just revolves around the only the basic thing. So that axis of rotation very important here. So today let me I picked up some good problems of different situations. Okay, we'll analyze clearly huh, how in various cases, how do we apply that angular impulse, angular momentum equation. Hmm. Okay, read the question. There's a rod of mass m and length L. It's injured at one end and released from rest. In horizontal portion, a nail is fixed. There's a nail. At what distance? At a distance three L by four, just below the inch. Find the impulse by the nail on the rod. If the rod deflects by an angle theta equals sixty degree after impact. Impulse by the nail on the rod. Okay, now straight away. So when the rod comes to this position, I do one thing. Uh, I, I'll do coloring afterwards huh? because I think it'll take more time. Some rough diagram. So when the rod comes to this position. Uh, will it have any angular velocity? Yes, it is because it is released from rest. Uh, and uh, it will have here angular velocity. Shall we calculate that angular velocity? Yes, it is. How much of center of mass has descended? Mg L by 2. Let me call this as say some O. Is equal to half I naught omega square. So Mg L is equal to. Omega naught will write it. So what is omega naught? I think everyone knows this. This is the angular velocity of the rod. After this, uh, how the how the this nail will exert force? It will exert impulse like this. No. The force will act for duration of time. So this particular force, what happens, will be acting. On the rod, similarly, an impulse will act on the nail. Uh, because of this impulse, it will rebound. So, to what angle it will rebound? It will rebound to an angle 60 degrees. It deflects by an angle 60 degrees. That one. What is this entire question means? So, after impulse, it will have angular velocity omega. Because of this angular velocity omega, the rod. will deflect through an angle theta. Okay, I agree this. So can we calculate this omega? What is this omega should be equal to? It's a very simple thing, nothing big here. Uh, to what height center of mass will ascend? So earlier it was at height. Oh, yeah. So earlier it was here, now it is here, no? so L by 2. Now, now th this distance will be how much? 
L by 2 cos theta. So what is the height? The center of mass has ascended. Already we have done such things where in the circular motion, once again I am lifting. So what is H is equal to? L by 2 1 minus cos theta. Then uh, what is that angular velocity? So I naught omega square by 2 should be equal to mgh. I naught ml square by 3 half into omega square mg l by 2 1 minus cos theta. Solving this we will get expression for the omega. So theta is what? 1 by 2. So this omega should be equal to 3g by 2l. And it, it will come to instantaneous rest. Now can we calculate the impulse? That impulse g is asking here. So I will apply the angular impulse that one. What was the initial angular momentum of the rod? What was the initial angular momentum of the round? I naught omega naught. Final angular momentum, I omega. So what is the angular, impulse angular momentum equation? Li plus angular impulse. Can, can you remember that this is minus j theta equal to minus Lf. Why the negative sign? Initial angular momentum was clockwise. I naught omega naught. Angular impulse will act. What is angular impulse? J into 3L by 4. So if you are finding very difficult, if you are very, very difficult, you can do one thing. Initial angular momentum like this. Angular impulse acting is like this. And the final angular momentum is like this. So anything towards in the direction of initial, I, I'll take it positive. Opposite to that, I'll take negative. I think this is a convention. Then I naught into omega. So do we know I naught S ML square by 3 omega naught omega naught we have calculated root 3 GL J into 3 L by 4 3 G by 2 L. Okay this one so one L L gets eliminated Solving this will get expression for the impulse. This is the impulse exerted by the nail on the rod or by the rod on the nail. Everything this will be ml square by 3. I'll take outside. So root 3 gl also will come outside. One l gets eliminated. No? m by 3 3 gl 1 minus 1 plus 1 by root 2 is equal to 3 j by 4. If you want that 3 also you send in the, inside the bracket, it will become root of gl by 3, 1 plus 1 by 2 and, and this 3 is there, it will become 9. So total it will be Four M Okay, this will be our answer. Huh? Okay, see we, we are in a position to calculate impulse. What is that impulse? Impulse is a force into time, no? Can we calculate for what time the rod was in contact with the nail? We can't do all that, not possible. But we are able to tell the impulse. See. Nothing big. Uh, th th this equation is very important. Huh? Angular impulse, angular momentum. Sir, why you are not applying conservation of angular momentum? Uh, about point or the net impulse, 